award. But after filing a complaint about possible acts of misconduct by her chief, the city of Fair Oaks Ranch fired her. Tonight, for the first time, Officer Lacey Gonzalez sharing her story. There's a code, you don't talk, because if you do something, you're going to get retaliated against. The night team's Dylan Collier reports on the troubled tenure of Chief Tim Mooring and the city's decision to keep him on the job. <laughs> This footage obtained by KSAT Investigates shows a Fair Oaks Ranch police vehicle pursue a speeding car along Fair Oaks Parkway last fall. In the video, officers approach the car from behind as one of them recognizes the driver, Police Chief Tim Mooring. Multiple sources said Mooring was driving the seized Toyota sedan. One former employee telling KSAT, Mooring has repeatedly sped along public roadways in city-owned vehicles to keep officers on their toes. KSAT could find no record Mooring was disciplined for the incident. Fair Oaks Ranch officials declined to comment. To have so much power in the hands of one individual who, as we can see, can be uh, abusive of his power, you know, that's unfortunate. Adam Murray is a former police officer turned attorney who now represents officers in employment disputes. One of his latest clients, Lacey Gonzalez, learned the hard way what can happen when you challenge Maureen's authority. A 14-page complaint authored by Gonzalez this summer accused Maureen of intimidation, making threats, and even being physically violent to his fellow officers. Gonzalez said she witnessed Maureen give a Fair Oaks Ranch police officer and animal control officer Adderall during a 2019 party and then watched them ingest the prescription stimulant. The complaint also states Mooring unholstered his service weapon and pointed it at a fellow officer while on duty. And in a third incident, Mooring is accused of shoving a lieutenant against a wall using both his hands. City leaders placed Mooring on paid administrative leave in August after learning of the complaint, only to reinstate him October 10th, stating the allegations were found to be unfounded or not sustained. You would think at some point they would do the right thing. Gonzalez says she was stripped of her field training officer responsibilities and no longer given opportunities for overtime. Then in early October, just as the city was preparing to reinstate Chief Mooring, Gonzalez was fired. By Murray's count, Gonzalez is at least the fourth Fair Oaks Ranch officer to be terminated or face termination after raising concerns about Mooring's behavior. I mean, this is things for which he should be going to prison, and instead they're keeping him in his position and retaliating against the officers who are, are brave enough to speak out against him. Murray said police officials cited a personal matter they had cleared Gonzalez for just two months earlier as a reason to terminate her, and added claims that she had violated a Garrity order by speaking about the department's investigation into her. Murray said his client was simply seeking legal counsel Gonzalez was also terminated for failing to report potential rules violations by Mooring in a timely manner. To make matters worse, Gonzalez said the department issued her a dishonorable discharge, impeding her ability to work anywhere else. It's next to impossible for you to even get another job in law enforcement. Have you come to terms with that? This was my life for the last six years. So a lot of sacrifice was given to that department. For KSAT Investigates, I'm Dylan Collier. In case